probably have heard at least something about VR or virtual reality this year, and here I am to explain just a bit more to you. With this year, seeing the release of the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift and the PlayStation VR, the world has been thrust into the world of virtual reality gaming. Virtual reality is achieved by putting on a headset which covers your eyes and puts a TV screen type object in front of your face. But what makes it interesting is that there's a head tracker, so when you move your head around in real life, you're going to be moving your head around in the game or the simulation or whatever it is. And the head tracker usually is in the form of a camera, which allows you to move your hands and head just like you're in an actual VR world. The technology is currently limited, as there isn't really a proper way to move around without like teleporting or just using a joystick, and a lot of other limitations. But I expect it to be a pretty important part of technology moving forward. Even without the limits, certain games play and feel so much better with a VR headset. For example, racing games is one of the best experiences you can have, as you don't have to move around a lot to be able to properly experience a racing game, as you're just sitting down in a car. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how do I get my hands on one of these things? They sound amazing. First, you're going to either need a decent PC that can run VR games, or a PlayStation 4 system. If you don't know what those are, check out my first podcast. If you have a PC that can run VR games, then you have the option between the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift. I personally have never been able to try VR myself, so I can't properly say which one is the better of the two. But from what I've heard, the HTC Vive is a lot more user friendly and has a better VR experience. But then again, that's just from me seeing other people's opinions. So if you have a PlayStation 4, then you won't be needing a PC, as PlayStation has released its own VR headset in the form of PlayStation VR. From what I've heard, it is not anything, it's not a bad choice, and it's the comfortable headset to wear, but there isn't as much freedom on the PlayStation VR as there is the other two. To play PlayStation VR games, you have to get them from the PlayStation Store, store or other means like that, while the Vive and the Rift get pretty much any game onto there. Overall, VR could easily just be another fad, just like how the motion controls were back with the, when the Wii was released. But I for one welcome VR and hope I can experience VR myself someday soon. Thank you for listening to all my podcasts and if you want more, please remember to leave a comment. This was just for a school project, but if you want more, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't mind making more. Goodbye now.